we do it every day. We be grinding, and if you ask me, we the best. I'ma be like, yo, that starts with the crazy flow. And you gon' hear us on the radio. This is how we do every day. We be grinding, and if you wanna come and test us, I'ma be like, yo, that starts with the crazy flow. And you gon' hear us on the radio. When I'm spitting all these rhymes. What's up, folks? It's your boy Kenny Catfish. I'm back once again. <laughs> This is volume one, part seven. This is probably going to be the last dance we do with the gun split slot and the gun slot offset featuring the RPO peak zone bubble and the RPO peak zone read. So, I'll get started off by saying this. There was a guy in the comment section one day and he asked me, what play do you start off the drive with? See, the way I do this scheme is everything is built around the um as i always say there is built around whether you can do the two swing routes which is the rpo peak zone bubble and the other one which is swing left and swing right this play that i'm currently doing right here which has an auto motion but it has it's like pretty much like a generic pass play behind it you never want to come out on these first because you always want him to just worry about the swing route. You know what I'm saying? And the inside handoff. See, that's... You you earn those plays later on in the drive. You want to do the, the this. You know, if you coming out starting the drive and stuff. And it still depends on the other factors of where the, the user is on the outside or the middle. You know what I mean? So, I just thought I threw that in there. That play right there, that's the one you don't start off in. The ones that has the auto motions... And the receivers are going out for a pass as well. You don't start off in that. Because you want to see how he just followed that guy. You want to try to get beautiful. Beautiful. It's only going to work when you do the other ones. It's like those plays right there. Like the double post and the, the um, motion spot. They offset. You know what I'm saying. They're like the mirroring image of the RPO peak zone bubble. And the read bubble. You know what I'm saying. Get it. Got it. Good. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how that one goes. Like, I'm just starting off a drive. So I just hit them with the triple option or something like that. Or, the, or you know, the swing left or the swing right. You don't start off with that play right there. Don't start off the drive with that play. You need to earn that. See how you want to get him to chase? Boom, second and ten. Beautiful. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really doing that play a little too early. But I figured he was going to chase the guy. So I had faith in that part. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, because the whole goal is to get the linebacker to chase the guy outside or to just freeze him in the middle so you can do the opposite. Yeah, man. So, yeah, this is pretty much like the last dance. I think um, I'm on seven videos. I may do one more, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm going to stick right here because I got a few more topics in mind as we close this year out. And we're pretty much under 40 days. We're under 30 days. All right, so here we go. We got auto motion with a cross screen. That's beautiful. I hope they don't take that out. I've been running that for a few years, ever since this was in Philly, that for your playbook, when Chip Kelly was there. That's how long I've been running this, these formations right here. <laughs> See that guy in the middle on his linebacker? He going to click over and try to follow. See how he following? <laughs> yeah, it's all manipulation, baby. Here we go. This is the touchdown. We got the motion double, which means it's just the pass play. See, these are the ones you don't do in the beginning of the drive right here, as I was saying. You earn this by making the guy chase you. See, he started moving, and he forgot about those guys. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Y'all know we got that red screen of death. Moment of silence. <laughs> Yeah, man, so um, this video is a little lengthy. It's usually like 10 minutes, but I threw a few more extra drives in there because I think I really want to have some closure today. Nice. Those auto motions are the truth, but the only way you're going to get it, only way you're going to make it look nice and pretty like that is you have to set these guys up. See how he's already waiting on the right side? Like, I don't even know what he's waiting on. <laughs> now he want to click off and get on the D-line. Hey, y'all, watch this. One, two, three. Whoop! <laughs> oh, man. Well, 
it's a high scoring game right here as you can see I'm going at it right now it's 21 14 and once again I'm in the you know the the gun split slot and the slot offset see how you want to cram the box we got answers for that buddy we're gonna swing left because we know we see him on the left side so this is like a little crisscross play right here nice little stop he's cramming the box though as you can see <laughs> he's pressing as you can see eventually something gonna have to give and I mentioned in other videos before on offense you're either gonna have time with no space or you're gonna have space with no time so as the line of scrimmage you have to realize that like right now I'm looking at no time because they coming they coming but with that being said I have all the space look at the back end back there that's all green grass nobody's is beyond the 40 yard line everybody is you know what I'm saying nobody's behind the 40 yard line so we have all that space to work but we don't have time that's the that's the pre-snap read you always have to have a pre-snap read and a post-snap read with this stuff look at that nice circle coming on the late dig route see how that auto motion work right there <laughs> I should just name this video auto motions <laughs> auto motions from the gun split slot and the slot offset that's a, that's what we're gonna name this video right here because we, we want to utilize all of them here we go again swinging <laughs> hey you gonna be over there or you're not pick your fate <laughs> got his little triangle going with his little cover three I think I mentioned last time I did this um this scheme right here I was talking about having TB12 right though you don't you don't need a scrambling for this screen you don't need a scrambling quarterback for this scheme I meant you need to learn how to read the pocket learn how to maneuver in the pocket and, and read your assignments you know I once said before you have to focus on your task and not the opponent Focus on the task at hand. Look at that. I done 25 passes, 5 rushes. I don't know if you guys caught that. Look at him. See, now he's stuck in the middle because he's trying to cover everything at one time. And we got the open field that way. I, um, Most of my touchdowns are scored off this play right here because we got the open field. <laughs> oh, jump. That's how it go, y'all. All right, so we starting out a, a new drive. First play of the game. And it looked like we are going to swing right. So now, nice user. So now in his mind, he have to account for that swing route on the next play. I'm going to just look at this from his perspective. Okay, it's the second down. We in the split. Beautiful. So he didn't like the three, the, you know, the cover three. So now he want to have the two. I say, what are you doing, man? Y'all see that guy going all the way over there already? I ain't did nothing yet. <laughs> Dang, he all scary. Ah, you got fooled. <laughs> That's what you call bamboozled, baby. That's why you have triple option, motion triple option in the audibles. I talked about that. And I will put a um, link in the description with the audibles to this. See, them auto motions will fool you, boy. Look at them. Now, I don't know what happened here, but he was stone froze silent. <laughs> I'm just taking what the defense gives me. Nice. All right, y'all. We in the wild card night game. Gotta love it. Look at this guy, all misaligned, and I bombed the throw. That was a nice try on the swerve catch. Um, I talked about this before. <laughs> This dude is all misaligned. You know why? Because he's so focused on the quarterbacks and running backs that he don't even check his outside receivers. Once again, misaligned on circle. Circle misaligned. Now, I'm not going to attempt to go out there because I see him on his safety. And he has the leverage and the speed and the, and the angle to come up and make a pick with Calvin back there. So, I let that one slide. 
And once again, for the fourth time in a row, he's misaligned because he's trying to set up some kind of one of those A gappers or whatever. And that's what you get, buddy. <laughs> right here, we got the Jags versus Jags. This was another high scoring game. I went all the way to the championship this season right here. I lost this game at the end. I think I missed an um, a extra point or something like that. Yeah, but this was a high scoring game. Nice little halfback sweep. And that's in the audibles as well. This is a split. This ain't the split from the, the New England Patriots playbook with the um, X Trail and all the other good stuff. This is the spread split. This is my. This is basically the the, the version of um, Georgia Tech. That's how I see it. I, I love watching Georgia Tech. I don't know about you guys because it's very different, and you can control a ball game like that. Got people going everywhere. A lot of misdirections. Only thing I say about Georgia Tech, they just don't pass enough. But you know what I'm saying. I got all the auto motions. And with this scheme, anybody can get the ball any down. This ain't just no formation where it's only going to that running back on that certain side or it's just going to that slot receiver or that receiver on one side. And I got plays for anybody. And then when you have that hot route master guy there, TB12, that opens up even more doors. You're just limited to running the ball. So. He got good then, you know. He, he, he did his little thing then. I took my little sack. Uh, I'm weird. What a nice throw. All right. Motion triple option. <laughs> the gap is open. That's why we're going that way. See that left side of the field is wide open. And I need him to follow my guy. He started following. <laughs> Hey, that's all manipulation, baby. All right, so the same guy later that day. This was a shootout right here. <laughs> and let's split. He got that triangle back there. Hey, man, you guys let me know in the comment section what's going on, man. I see y'all watching the videos, but y'all don't never talk about you know your experiences on the field with this scheme <laughs> nice run that's in the audibles that's a quick handoff because you just never know you just never know how they're gonna um use their line because some guys think that they can open the line and it'll distract me with the swing route <laughs> nope look at it. he want to back up all out the trash see him with shay zero that's funny <laughs> they be doing some little cute stuff man i, I tell you boy then he gonna click off. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Y'all, let's let's pay attention to what he's at at his user. So he's sitting on Sage, right? You gotta have that in your in your mental notes. Where's the user sitting at all times? What did he do? Sometimes even if you throw an incomplete pass or completion, you still wanna like double check and know where he's at. Now we're talking. Let's attack the user, baby. You want to sit right there? So we're going to throw a, what's called a switch route out there and make him get occupied. Guys, this is Kenny Catfish. You know I'm always bringing you guys the good stuff. We got a few more videos in the tank. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.